Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome to Dark Souls Remastered, the bow only run. So, we're Chromageddon because I'm Chromageddon. We're male because naming women is hard. We're a hunter because we start with a bow, and that's kind of absolutely vital for a bow only run because we couldn't beat the asylum demon without a bow. Because firebombs would be cheating. Master Key, I don't know that we're going to use it. We might go through Blight Town the proper way, but I like to have the option. And we're very slim because we a speedy boy. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of Lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. So anyway, this is the remastered version. And you might be wondering. Yes, indeed. The dark side brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. I forgot there was dialogue. Your 
your fate. Are we missing eyes? I don't know that I signed up for that. So anyway, before the intro interrupted me, the difference between the original Dark Souls and the Dark Souls Remastered is mainly that it can go at 60 frames per second and everything doesn't look like potato. Because uh, having played the original and then jumped into this just to see the differences, it's pretty huge. We look pretty great compared to what we looked like back in that game. 60 frames per second makes a pretty big difference. But most importantly, you get the frames when you're in Blight Town. And, uh, whatever the bottom of Blight Town's called. Is that still Blight Town? I don't even remember. Anyway, we don't need that because I can't hit anything. If it's not with a bow, I can't hit it. I cannot inflict damage to things unless it is caused by a bow. If I shoot an explosive or something, that's totally cool, but. Oh, I forgot I have to hold B for the running. Anyway, there's a big scary dude outside, but I gotta go get my bow so I can make it a dead. The whole premise behind this is basically that we only use the bow. I.e. bow only run. Thankfully, iframes are pretty forgiving in this game, so we should be able to roll through most everything. A short sword, you don't say? I wish I could use that, because... Swords and shield. Parrying in this game feels amazing. This is, like, up there. If this isn't the best Dark Souls, it's tied with two. Three was garbage. We don't talk about three. But we triggered that so we can go we can go save the duder. And then we open this gate so that there's a shortcut. Then I come up here, and I have to listen to him because I can't hit him. Soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? See, normally I'd have just falcon punched him, and then we'd have been merrily on our way. But I have to listen to him, otherwise I will be not doing the thing. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But what am I like doing? I can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family: "Thou who art undead art chosen." Thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. I have a hard time imagining... Somebody having and this. a family saying or phrase that's longer than six words. Like, I could totally see that as a plaque above his fireplace. I feel like he's lying to me. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. We've been kicking him the entire conversation. And yet he has forgiven us. And he's a dud. That didn't count. I didn't touch them. That, that was suicide. <laughs> I mean, if I accidentally punch someone, it's not the end of the world. But I, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to do the bow things. We did this with Dark Souls 2. And that was fun. So I was like, you know what? I really like bows. And this is really difficult. See, we've only got 30 arrows. And I know what you're thinking. That's not enough to kill much of anything. But... Wait. Oh no, does this game not have the jump attack? Is this possible? Wait. Tell me I can smack people with the bow. Oh, this might be a problem. I'm gonna have to run past everything. 
Oh, that is a huge problem. I thought there was a jump attack, like there was in 2 for some reason, and that I could just swat things with my bow, even if it did 10 damage. I could just keep beating things over the head with the bow. I don't think I can do that. We are already in problems. And I can't plunging attack. So I... Thankfully, the way stamina works in this game. Oh, God. Dude, I can cancel while I'm mid-shot. That's so nice. I died. I died to the Asylum Demon. Wow, look, it's a boss we've never encountered before. I hope our first attempt surely defeats them. Nope. Good juke. Now, normally, I'm of the mind that locking on is bad, but we're using a bow, so locking on is the only option. It does look like we will have enough arrows to beat the Asylum Demon, at least. We're going to have to do a lot of running past things. A whole lot of running past things. This is a much more difficult start than I thought it was going to be. We've got to get to the arrow seller, dude. And with this many arrows, I don't think we could kill more than, like, one or two things. So ideally, all boss fights will go like this, but, uh... Yeah, sometimes things don't go right. There's probably a parallel universe where we failed and did not defeat the Asylum Demon on the first try. Thankfully, that universe is not this one. And there's also giant crows to take us to safety. Our kin. They have sensed us. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran see them instantaneous loadings I love it I love I love doing things on PC No disrespect to Switch or PlayStation 4 or anything, but I'm like, oh my god, the loading times. Did it. No, I cannot level up. That is absolutely not a thing we can do, for I can't kill anything and we have seven arrows. So I think the first, uh, you know what, let's run around and grab everything. Because I think... Wait, no, we can't even use... I think there's firebombs over there or something. Let's just go get more arrows. I want to get the progress on. I'm feeling antsy. I want to do the things. I want to be the greatest. I want to be the bow only. Nope. 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 We'll get that other thing later. I'll try and get all the things and do all the stuffs. But, uh... For right now, I would very much like arrows with which to do said things. I would like to clear out the areas and actually fight things properly, and... If that guy died, it's not my fault. Hi, dragon! Hi, dragon, hi! It didn't notice me. Alright, this isn't that bad. In fact, I think everything's fine. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> so is that supposed to be like a cat on top of the bucket? Or is he just petting the bucket? He's probably petting the bucket. Anyway, you come here first, and then you say, Wow... Ten souls an arrow, I'll go bankrupt. And then you come down here and you're like, what? 
10 damage less, and it's one-third the price, and then you buy 734 of them. Thank you kindly. <laughs> wow, that was actually much faster than Dark Souls 2, to be honest. Okay, so, like, you don't have the, the punchy things, but I'm like... Dude, I thought I was gonna have to grind for Arrow Souls. That's so much faster than Dark Souls 2, dude. Wow. Alright, so that's gonna be swapping. Oh, we can actually move in this? Dude, I haven't done this in forever. This is gonna take some getting used to. But we should probably get the bonfire. There's a shield down here, but... I don't know if that counts. I don't know if I'm allowed to use shields. Probably won't. It's not like I'd be able to repost them anyway. And we'll keep it going from there. If you think about it, much like breaking down money into how many nuggies you can get, each time we kill one of these guys, we get enough souls to buy 20 more arrows. So we're actually still massively profiting. This was a much worse exchange in Dark Souls 2. So I think this might actually be a bit easier. But basically, you can do the whole, like, I'm aim and shoot you and stuff. Like, if you want to get the fancy headshots and stuff. But then they move and it's like, now I'm not going to hit you. How did you... What? He's a wizard. And that's basically the story of our life. Anytime something goes wrong, it's because they're a wizard. They're cheating with their Trixie magics. Dude, what? Bending over. Enemies with shields are going to be a huge problem. I could not hit the broad side of a barn. I don't know why I'm going for headshots on these enemies that keep bending over. I'm just like, but it'll be cool. And then I get firebombed and die. This is the story of the archer with 10% accuracy. I guess technically we're a hunter, but it's all the same. So in the beginning, upgrading... Oh god. Stop actually attacking me. Alright, attack. Then I jump out of the way. Then I shoot you in the back. It's better to, regardless of what you're doing, it's always better to upgrade. He's a wizard! Upgrade your weapons before you upgrade your stats. Unless you don't have the stats to use the weapon you want to use. Come at me. Yes, keep swinging your sword. That is definitely the way to defeat me. Oh my god, how are we going to beat Black Knights? I do not do the damage for that. Oh, you know what? We'll just have to kite him. Maybe I'll just keep doing some ladder shenanigans or something. Pine resin doesn't matter because I can't put that on a bow. We also can't enchant bows. Yes. Come at me one at a time. I don't have many options. I don't mind being cheap. When we get poison arrows, it's going to be great. Dead. Okay. He's scoping out the area. He drew... I think I, I just kind of missed that one. Wizard. And we can actually get the stuff. I know there's a bunch of things that we missed in... Oh my god, did I... Oh my god. We made it. I almost thought we got stuck there for a second. But I know there's a bunch of stuff back in the beginning, but it's like a, it's like a crossbow. Which I guess crossbows are still bows. Maybe we'll use crossbows. I didn't really give them much of a chance. The other times that I played these games, but I noticed in Dark Souls 2, they're actually very strong. Because they don't have stat scaling. So they just do a really high amount of base damage. And when you can use it with one hand, 
That means you can use a shield and a crossbow. And that's pretty fancy. The last time we played this game... How are you blocking that with your back? Wizards. Every last one of them. I don't have that jump attack, dude. I could have sworn I'd done a bow and only run at this, like, at some point. Why am I not remembering this? Like, obviously not for YouTubes or anything, but, like... I thought I would be able to do more things. I think enemies with shields are just gonna... Like, how are we gonna kill Havel? Like, there are gonna be so many enemies in this game. Am I just... Am I just running until we can get poison arrows? Is that what we're doing? Because they have these shields, and I'm just, like... Can I roll through it? Nope. Look at that. We killed them, gracefully. With 680 arrows, though, I don't really have to do much grinding. Go away. Go. Go. Are you guys... You really... You can follow me up here? I didn't know they could follow me up here. In fact, I don't think I've ever let them live long enough to do so. I was going to get the Crystal Lizard, but honestly, it probably would have gotten away anyway. So first, I'm going to come up here to the vantage point. Oh, we can't do the plunging attack either. I know this is exactly what I signed up for, but this is also not what I signed up for. This was supposed to be easy mode chill times of fun. It's still fun. And it's still relatively chill, considering it's Dark Souls 1. But I wasn't expecting difficulty. Where are you at? Come at me, bruh. I don't really see much reason to climb up there. So what I'm thinking is, they're gonna swing, then I'm gonna take a step back. Wow, getting staggered by arrows. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. I think this is what it looks like when we're winning. Dude, how are you getting staggered by arrows? That's awesome. Oh, maybe I'm shooting them in the head and shooting them in the head staggers them? There's lots of interesting interactions with arrows. Like with the... Quailana? Quailag? I think Quailana's the sister. If you shoot the, the, the human body part, whatever, oh my god, no. 100% of the time, it's a stun. I think. I'm pretty sure I've heard that before, at least. Honestly, the things that are going to scare me the most are Calamite and Manus. Like, everything else, it might be kind of whatever. But, like, the fast bosses, or, like, the big bosses with the big scary hit areas, like, what's a Taurus demon gonna do? His, his ultimate ability is swinging a big hammer, and I'm just like, okay, I guess I'll take a few steps backwards and keep shooting you. Oh! It failed. So we unlock, and we keep rolling. And we unlock, and we keep rolling! Oh, my God. Just when I was taunting him. I should have just healed. The camera killed me. It wasn't my fault. So anyway, it turns out the Capra Demon was actually a wizard all along. So we're going to have to deal with that somehow. But uh, I, I think it'll be by not getting stuck in a corner and then properly rolling. I uh, maybe, in my unlocking of the camera -ness, should have turned the camera around to deflect their wizard powers. But it didn't happen. As we get into this more, I'll probably smooth out on this. But right now, I don't know. I'm feeling hyper. I'm probably going too fast. I'm just like, I want to do the things. I like Dark Souls. I like Dark Souls a lot. And we're doing bow stuff. I like bow stuff too. We're doing all the things that I like. So thank you guys for being here with me. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.